I don't think a lot of people think Joe's going to be there at the end. The well, wait. Also, Kamala, what do they do with her? Oh my God! If he Shh. if he steps down, what do they do with her? Do people demand that she runs? Like I that's. Th- I think one person would lose their minds if Joe steps down. One person would absolutely lose her shit. You know who that is? Who? Hillary. Yeah. She's not the first. Kamala right. becomes the first president. You know, if if he steps down before, right, or if he finishes, I mean, that's that's some crazy stuff right there. Yeah, I just can't imagine the United States wants President Kamala Harris. I don't think anybody wants that. Nobody wants that. I mean, they may, <sighs> maybe some people would prefer that over President Trump, but nobody wants that. And nobody wants President Newsom either. Nobody believes in that guy. It's, it, the guy's a fucking con man. I mean, everything he did in California, from trying to mandate vaccines for kids, what was totally unnecessary, to being caught out in public without a mask and lying about the fact that he was outdoors. Yeah. All of it. It's just nobody believes in that guy. He's just a politician, just a stone cold, narrative driven politician. You know, and it's nobody thinks he's a real human. Whether you like Trump or not, whether you think it's cor- he's corrupt or not, that's a human being. You you know yeah. you know is you know what that guy is. Same thing with RFK Jr. Whether you believe that he's correct about vaccines or whether you believe his policies would be effective, and you, you know that's a human being. With Newsom, you've got like this construct, this this cardboard cutout of a person. It's just I don't think people want that. But they might want it more than they want President Trump. And that's where we got Joe Biden. We didn't get Joe Biden because Joe Biden's amazing. Joe Biden's been a goof his whole fucking career. He's always been a goof. He's always been, he's been caught lying so many times. Yeah. He's so full of shit. There's so much evidence that he's corrupt. Just undeniable evidence of corruption. And the stuff with him and his son and then the, the guy who just testified that was business partners with uh, with Hunter. Yeah. Who talked about all the different things that Joe was involved with. Evan Archer. Yeah. yeah. It's fucking undeniable. And the fact that they that mainstream news is ignoring this except for right-wing media it's fucking crazy yeah but on the back end when they flip they're all united when they flip meaning right if they go after if they like they did with cuomo exactly so to me andrew cuomo is a case study of what's about to come like it's a conversation where whoever that guy is whoever the guy there's got to be a guy that makes the phone call right that guy can talk to him and they say joe it's time we got to figure something out and you got to step away and we're going to protect your legacy Netflix has already agreed to do a massive four-part series document, documentary on your life. And we got you a $30 million deal with Simon & Schuster, okay? And outside of that, you're good. You're scored away. You're going to get this award. You're going to get that award. And your wife's going to get this. And you're going to get this. And you don't have to worry about pardon all this. But you got to step away. That person's going to make the phone call, especially to the people when you're part of the establishment. That person can't make the phone call to the anti- anti-establishment people. But that person can make the phone call to the establishment people, and he's full-blown establishment, 50 years, if you want to, you know, 60 years. The Newsom thing is a little bit interesting. I think Newsom is 10 times more marketable than Biden. Uh, When Newsom went on Hannity, I don't know if you saw it or not, most people said Newsom won. Really? Oh, my God. It, it, It was, he did a very good job representing himself as a politician. First of all, what, what you're doing is you're going in enemy territory, Sean Hannity. Sean Hannity is a Trump guy. So you're willing to go to anybody and you go to him. You didn't go to somebody that's a little safer. You went straight to him. And afterwards, everyone's like, you know, Newsom showed up. He did this. He did that. So if Newsom takes a page out of Trump's playbook to go against opposition, he shows strength. Democrats are just going to get behind somebody and they got a behemoth of a machine to start talking about why he's such a hero, why he's such a this, yeah. you know, why he's so noble. So, uh, you know, the other part, Joe, that uh, RFK is uh, confusing a lot of these guys, RFK and Vivek, what are the two guys doing? They're going on podcasts. They're yeah. going everywhere. Yeah. And, and, and some of these guys are not realizing the power of you yet, the power of the podcast model, the power of freedmen's, the power of going and talking to the people because it's digital. You know, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm looking at the video here, 15-minute clip, 5-minute clip, Twitter short clip. So I think this could be the first case study 
um, where mainstream media for an election, this could be the last one where they have a little bit of an advantage. I think it's about to be done for them. Mm. Yeah, I think so too.